Hey guys, welcome to another video by Into Fly Fishing. In this video, we're gonna be checking out these right here, the Naka Michelin Sold Wading Boots by Vision. Let's get into it. All right, so I've had these things for probably about six months now, and I've been fishing them extensively in Europe, and I've been on small rivers and streams and large rivers. I've fished them on gravel, spring creeks, and also on you know big boulders, slippery rocks. So I've, I've given these things a good rundown, and I have a good idea of how they feel and how they fish if you're thinking about picking up a pair for yourself. So first of all, let's talk about the construction of these Vision Naka Michelin boot. All right, so we'll start with the sole. This is what Vision is trying to sell with these boots here. They have a Michelin tire sole on them, and on Vision's website and on any website that you read from wading boots that have Michelin soles, whether they're Orvis or whoever makes them with Michelin, they say, oh, if they can grip a road, they can grip onto rocks. In my opinion, uh, the, the grip is okay. We'll get into that a little bit later. But what I do really like about these boots is just the how sturdily they are built. Um, they are really nice. There's double and triple stitching on almost all the seams and they're also glued under that as well. So they really do look like they're going to last. Um, and I've already waited a lot with these. I've been fishing a lot with them and nowhere on the boot is any of that glue tearing up or anything yet. And I think that's because a lot of boots just glue or a lot of boots just stitch but vision has decided to go with a really durable makeup here and what they've done is they've triple stitched most of the seams like i said and they also glued underneath of that so really you end up with a pretty pretty sturdy looking boot so on the sole besides it just being michelin tire material uh, they say it's inspired by the michelin ltx as tire with modifications targeted to make it specific for weighting for better grip and there are some recessed positions here for tungsten carbide and studs um, so if you wanted to put studs in the bottom of the boot you could and basically i find that the sole of the boot is just beautiful like i mean it's it's on there really nice it's not going to lift off of there and it's super strong um, and it just feels like a really, really well-built boot. The laces go all the way down to low on the boot here. So with one tight pull, you can basically tighten the entire boot. You can get them on and off really quickly. And they also have these super strong metal uh, lace keepers here. And I've had some boots in the past where these are plastic. And after a year, like a season or two, they'll start to bend. And then when you go to tighten, it just snaps off. Uh, so it's really nice to see that Vision opted for these really strong metal uh, lace hooks here. And it does make a huge difference with the confidence you have when you're tightening them up super tight. Next, let's talk about what everyone wants to know with a new wading boot is how is the grip? So like I said before, the Michelin tire boot soles are supposed to be superior in grip. I find them to be the same as any other sole. What I like about these is that the sole is a little bit softer and that makes it so when you're like walking on slippery rocks that are sharp, they kind of dig in a little bit and you do get better grip that way. But if you're walking on stones that are circular in the river, don't expect these to hook onto them and to keep you from sliding around. If you wanna have that kind of grip on a stone creek like that, where there's algae on the rocks or they're really slippery, you're gonna to wanna to go with felt soles. But um, in a lot of places, those are illegal because they transmit algae. And um, so if you have to get rubber sole boots, you might as well go with ones that are Michelin. And it just means that they're built with really high quality rubber from a known brand added onto another brand that's quite good as well, Vision. Let's talk a little bit about the brand Vision Fly Fishing. Uh, if you're from the US or Canada like me, you probably haven't heard of them or maybe you have, but you haven't fished much of their stuff because it's hard to find in the US and Canada. But they're a brand out of Finland and they design all their gear with a bunch of competition anglers and avid anglers who really know their stuff. They started off kind of creating cheaper gear and now they've graduated up and they have some really, really high quality gear. I mean, I'm fishing their River Maniac fly rod right now and I absolutely love it. There will be a, um, a review of that rod coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. But so far with all my Vision gear, I've been loving it. They're great. And I think that these boots are no different. So next up, let's talk about the warranty. And I think this is one area where Vision could improve. Their warranty is basically just for manufacturer default on these boots and I think on all their rods as well. Uh, might be different for rods, but with the boots, manufacturer default. So, you know, they're not going to cover you for wear and tear. And as far as I know, they don't give you that 60 day money back guarantee that other companies like Orvis give you on their boots. But 
if you get these boots like I did, they're in perfect shape. They look like they're gonna last for a few seasons at least. And you know, they're a nice boot, so you shouldn't have a problem, but it would be nice to at least have a 60 day money back guarantee, or, you know, a fish and try them kind of warranty, or even a year long warranty where if they break down completely, you can get a new one. But I do think that if you have an issue with these and you reach out to Vision, they have repair centers around, you can ship them back to their repair centers here in Europe and you can get them repaired. And I think that in that way, they have a pretty good warranty system. But yeah, for the boots, it would be nice, a little bit longer warranty, just so you can try them out and make sure they're gonna last. So next up, let's talk about the pros and the cons. And I'll start by talking about the pros, the things that I like about these Vision Naka Michelin boots. So first of all, I think they're super comfortable. I have what I call pussy feet. <laughs> as soon as I put on a new pair of boots, I get blisters on my feet and that's no different for wading boots. So with these ones, I put them on, I wore them for, a, I think the first day I had a guide and I was out for like 12 hours and I had no blisters and no problem with the boots, which is saying a lot. So they're super comfortable. Uh, you can expect that if you're getting these brand new for an important fishing trip, after one full day of fishing, you're not gonna have beat up feet, sore feet, and blistered feet. They did a good job of padding these boots where you need the padding most. Next up, I do like the sole on these boots. That's another pro for me. I think even though they claim that Michelin boots have better grip, I don't really find that that much, but I, like I said, I like the soft rubber on here and it does feel like it's super durable sole and so far I've been hiking on them a lot and I don't even see any wear and tear on these after three months so that's pretty damn good. Um, the overall durability I guess I would say is a massive pro on these so far. I haven't fished them for like two three years like you guys probably want to see yet but I wanted to get this review out for you after fishing them pretty extensively and I think that they're durable. And lastly, um, another pro for me is that they're easy to tighten. So Vision has thought that through. You can unhook all these hard loops and then you have them, the laces all the way down to here, which means you can quickly get these boots off. And then when you put them on, the same thing, you just one quick snap with your, with your hands, pull them up and they get super tight all the way low down to the toe. So you don't have to keep on tightening in different positions. Yeah, that's a pro, that's what you want. You wanna get on the river quick and get off the river and get home quick when it's dark. So um, yeah, I like the lace system on these. So now let's talk about the cons. Uh, there are only a couple cons. I try to hunt for cons on boots and on all the gear that I review here on the channel. And you know, these days fly fishing companies are making such good products. Uh, it's hard to find cons in a lot of cases, but there are a couple with these. So number one, I would say is that they only have these three holes here for drainage after the boot is full, like when you're beyond the ankle height of the boot, obviously they fill up. And when you come back out onto the river bank or the beach or the surf or whatever, and they start to drain out, they only drain out of these three holes. So your feet are a little bit heavy for a little longer than they have to be. I mean, some of my other boots, this whole bottom section is mesh. And that means that as soon as I pull my boot out of the water, all the water's coming out of there. And yeah, then they're super light and they dry faster that way as well. I would have liked to see these holes a little bit lower down and a few more of them. Another con that I had with these is that whilst the sole is triple stitched and glued, so I don't think it's gonna come loose, I do have a couple spots here where the threading is coming a little bit loose. And I don't know why, but maybe if, Vision would have glued over these threads again, you'd have less chance of a uh, thread like this coming up. Still though, I can tell that that's not gonna come all the way out. I think it was just a little loose and I think the sole's gonna remain on there, no problem. With Vision, the con is that they don't have the best warranty. Like I said, come on guys, let's give us a 60 day money back guarantee or give us a year to, to really fish these boots and if the sole comes off or, or if the laces break or anything like that, you know, or the lace, the lace hooks break that you can't repair yourself. Uh, if Vision would cover that, that'd be excellent. Maybe they do, but they don't word it that well on their site. It basically just says manufacturer default, not wear and tear. So what does that count as? If this breaks off, if they cover that, great. But either word it better on the site or just offer that 60 day money back guarantee that a lot of brands are doing these days. So next up, let's talk about the price. These boots are gonna cost you around $280 or 280 euros. Basically those are the same at the time of recording this video. So 280 bucks is not a cheap boot and it's not really at the top end of a boot either. I mean, you can buy a hiking boot that's not this high quality for 200, 220 bucks. So um, it's, it's in the upper ranges, I guess, of what a wading boot will cost you. But 
like I said, as soon as you pull these things out of the box and you have a good look at them, you can tell that some money went into making these and manufacturing these. And that's why some money goes into going into the store and buying them yourself. But um, $280, not bad, pretty good value. If you have the money to spend, I think they're a great option. So last but not least, I'm just gonna talk about my personal opinion of these Vision Naka Michelin boots. So I think I've said it already, I fished them extensively for the last three months. I'm going out quite a few times a week fishing 10, 12 hour days of fishing and they've held up beautifully. There's barely any wear and tear aside from that one little loose thread. The bottom sole barely even scuffed. I mean, they look pretty much like they're brand new despite being fished quite a bit. And I think they're just a great boot. So if you're in the market for a new wading boot and you've got a little bit more budget to spend, the mid to upper end of the budget spectrum for wading boots, I think that these Vision Nakas are great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified next time we come out with a new video. We're coming out with gear reviews like this every single week, as well as fly fishing tutorials like how to fish in salt water, Euro nymphing tutorials, and even some destination vlog videos like fly fishing in the Maldives, fly fishing in Patagonia, fly fishing South Africa and so many places around the world. So we hope to have you along for the journey but for now get off of YouTube and go out fishing. Until next time, tight lines.